Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. So in this video we will solve some numericals on instruction uh, formats uh, for from the gate exam, right? So we'll start with one numerical. There was a one question in gate 2018 on instruction format. Here the numerical is, see, a processor has 16 integer registers, right? Their names are given R0 to R15. 64 floating point registers f0 to f63 right it uses two byte instruction format that means my instruction length is two byte that is 16 bit there are four categories of instructions type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 type 1 category consists of four instructions means we are using only four of codes from type 1 and in type 1 we are having three integer register operands right three integer Three operands are there, all three are integer register operand. Type 2 category consists of eight instructions, means eight of course we are using, each with, with two floating point register operand. That means my operands are only two and both are floating point register operand. Type 3 category 14 instruction, each one with one register operand and one floating point register operand. One is integer register, another is floating point. And type 4 consists of n number of instruction. That means n number of opcodes are there, each with a floating point register operand. Only one operand is there, that is your uh, register, floating point register operand, right? So, what we need to do, we need to find out the value of n. So, possible values of n are given as 32, 64, this, that. We need to see which one is the correct option. So, we will see this. So, see, what is there? Number of uh, integer registers is 16, right? So, to represent 16 register, we require 4 bits. Already we have seen so many examples of this type. Then 64 number of floating point register. So, 6 bits are sufficient. Then, type 1 consists of 3 integer register, right? All 3 integer registers are there. So, for of code, you have 4 bits left, right? So, out of this, they are using only 4 combinations from your type 1. And how many bits they are using for your... Uh, operands 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is 12 so 2 to the power 12 into 4 are the combinations in your type 1 next is type 2 in case of type 2 there are two floating point register each of which consists of what 6 bit so 6 6 plus 12 so 2 to the power 12 we are using from operand and total 8 number of combinations we are using out of 16 possible so 8 into 2 to the power 12 combinations are there from type 2 right next is type 3 in case of type 3 we are having one integer register and one floating point register so for operand total we require 10 number of bits and of, for of code left out bit is 6 and out of this 2 to the power 6 combinations we are using 14 number of combinations it is already given then here see we need to find out out of 2 to the power 10 combinations how many combinations are left for your type 4 where we are using only one floating point register operand right so what basically we are going to do we know our length of our instruction is what 16 bit so total possible different encodings of my instruction is what 2 to the power 16 out of 2 to the power 16 how many i have used that i will deduct that will be my value for total possible of your this one what is that type 4 and that so see i'll do that so number one number of type 1 instruction 4 into 2 to the power 12 combinations right four combinations from of code and with each of code combination 2 to the power 12 combinations will come for operand like that for type 2 as well as type 3 type 2 is using 8 bits uh, 8 combinations not 8 bits 8 combinations and type 3 is using 14 combinations, right? With each of the combination, your, uh, this one, what is that? Operand bit will vary from all 0 to all 1. So, we are multiplying it. Then total number of instruction is 2 to the power 16. Where from this 16 is coming? Because it is given that our instruction is of 2 bytes, right? 2 byte means 16 bits. So, how many possible encodings? 2 to the power 16. So, type 4 instruction will be what? 2 to the power 16 minus all whatever I have used, right? So, this is total possible, right? So, this total possible will come from where? 
So first I'll calculate the value. When we do the calculation, see here, I can take 2 to the power 11 as common, right? I'm making it simpler. You can here also directly calculate and directly you can subtract. But I'm doing it in powers of 2 because it is easier. 2 to the power 11 is common from here. Then what will be left? 3. Then from here, 4 bits will be left. And from here, 2, two into 7. So it is 7 left. So it is 2 to the power 11 into 31. Again, I will common, take common 2 to the power 11 from between these terms. So here from 2 to the power 5 will be there and from here 31. So basically, we come up at your 2 to the power 11 number of type 4 instructions will be there. Right. So 2 to the power 11 is the total possible instructions. That will come from where? And the number of of course into 2 to the power 6. That is my operand bits. Right. Because only one operand is there. That is floating point register operand. So n into 2 to the power 6 equal to 2 to the power 11, right? Then uh, what will be the value of n? It will be 2 to the power 11 by 2 to the power 6, nothing but 32. So number of possible uh, of codes for your um, type 4 instruction will be 32. So answer is your 32. Hope this numerical is clear. Another same type of numerical is there in gate. 2020 right so this we have understood kind of similar numerical is there you see in gate 2020 so next we'll solve that what it says a 60 processor has 64 registers got it 16 bit instruction format that also we have understood it has two types of instruction here only two types last time it was four types so i type and r type means immediate data and your register type each i type instruction contains an of code a register and a 4-bit immediate value. So total is 16. Out of that, some part is of code. Register name will take my 6-bit and 4-bit my immediate. So 6 plus 4 is your 10. How many left? 6 bits for your of code. Each R-type instruction contains an of code and two register names. Right? There are distinct, 8 distinct I-type of codes are there. Means out of the possible combinations, we are using eight of codes from I type. Then they are asking, what is the maximum number of distinct R type of codes will be there? So this is, they are asking maximum possible. They are not asking uh, how many we have used, maximum possible. So what I, we will do? First, we'll find out what is the number of I type, means uh, the combinations used for I type instruction. That we can do easily for operand C. For, see, for registers, you require 6 bit. And for immediate data, we require 4 bits. So 4 plus 6, that is 10. Um, and out, this is this part is operand. And how many combinations we are using? 8. So 8 into, 8 into your uh, 2 to the power 10. Directly, I can say 8 into 2 to the power 10, we have used for I type. Correct? And for R type, it will be whatever maximum possible they are asking. So n into, this part is for your operand, that is 2 to the power 12. This is my possible, uh, what is that? R type instruction. So this I can obtain from total minus whatever I have used for I type. So total is 2 to the power 16. Why 16? Because instruction length is 16 bit. So 2 to the power 16 minus whatever I have used for I type. So if I do this, see here, if I do this, then... Uh, after doing this whole calculation, everything I have expressed in powers of 2. So both sides of the equation I can divide by 2 to the power 12. Here also it is possible and here also it is possible. If you sum up everything, then it will come as what? 2 to the power 4 minus 2 to the power 1. That is 40. That is the answer for maximum number of distinct R type of codes will be 14. So hope this numerical is also clear. See, kind of similar numericals are there. If we understand their technique to how to solve it, we can definitely approach the questions coming in our gate exam. So till then, if you have understood my uh, explanations for these questions, then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.